Welcome to my blog, my video blog. I'm Rick Moyer and today is July 5th, 2010. One day after the big Independence Day here in America, where we blew up fireworks and had a great time. But tonight, no fireworks. In fact, just the opposite. I have my watering wand. And we're gonna water flowers. Since, look at, here's the flowers. Remember in my video way back when when we, oops, Gotta be careful, we don't kill them. But remember when I uh, planted all those seedlings and everything? These are some of those. And look at the marigolds. Come here. Can you see them? They're very nice. But we wanna make sure they're watered because tomorrow's expected to get up in the 80s. And here these are. These are a nice color bowl. Get that all taken care of. There's some chives. Here's some more of those seedlings up here. Let's get those watered. This one kinda died. This is a zinnia. And for some reason, it's not doing too well. I probably should have potted it better. Anyway, come over here. This is kind of nice. We, uh, Amy put together these hanging baskets, if you see. It's kind of dark out tonight already, but these hanging baskets she put together for $4 a piece, not including the, we had the baskets from last year. Oh. But anyway, they need to be watered pretty well because they dry out in the heat. So we need to get those pretty saturated. So for tomorrow, when it gets real hot, they'll be moist and continue to, to uh, these will get way bigger and full of flowers. And I just, I love the purple ones. And then of course the uh, geraniums here. It's nice to get those all watered. Here's another color bowl. Now here, let's go out to the ones that I've been nursing for a while. If you come out here in the yard with me, you'll see. I've been working on these. This is the third attempt at sunflowers. And if you notice, there's one from seedling that, that grew up, right? These ones I planted again, and they need to have some water on them because they're in kind of a dry part of the yard. And these ones over here are sweet peas, and they'll turn out to be really pretty as time goes on. But notice we'll water those very carefully. Get those all taken care of. And I've got the, not only do I have the regular sunflowers here, but the red ones as well. And I've never actually grown the red ones uh, from scratch. so. This ought to be really cool. If they survive, we should have some really pretty flowers when they get all done. Here's another sunflower out here, actually two of them. They're not, they're this, this one here and this one here. This I think is chocolate mint, which by the way, smells and tastes like chocolate mint, which is what they're supposed to be. What are those good? The dogs are in the background howling. That's nice. Okay, and then we got a couple more here on the porch, but uh, I can get those later. You don't have to really watch that, but you can't come over here. There's Miles in the window. To our, uh, I got a couple of sunflowers growing here, but the bugs are eating them, and there's nothing I can do about it. I've sprayed them, I've done everything else, and they're just dying. Oh well. But this is also the rose bush if you look over at it. I want to keep that nice and watered because it'll produce some more roses if you see right up here in that area there's some more coming but it needs a lot of water and then the blueberry bush is getting really thick blueberries but they're not blue yet but uh we're doing good pretty soon you're going to see them and they'll be they'll just be beautiful it'll be fun so uh there you go that was exciting actually what we're getting ready for tonight it is about, I think it's 11.31 or 11.24, around there somewhere. I have to go look for sure. But uh, the International Space Station will be coming across the sky right about here. And we'll see it as a bright star moving. It moves at 17,000 miles an hour. That's crazy. But that's how fast it goes to go around the Earth. And I think it crosses, I can't remember how many times a night it goes, but a few times. But uh, we'll be able to see it in our sky tonight because we don't have any clouds for the first time in forever. So that's really cool. So there you go. That's my uh, video blog. Me and my watering wand. Woohoo! Thanks and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.